Hello friends, welcome. Now we are going to take another case of linear programming which we are going to solve by solve by simplex method. The problem is maximize z equals to 6x1 plus 20x2. Subject to the constraints 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 32, 3x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 80, x1 greater than or equal to 8 and x2 greater than or equal to 10. We know that we have to follow the non-negativity constraint or condition. In this case, x1 greater than or equal to 8, x2 greater than or equal to 10. Now, many of you will be thinking that since there are greater than or equal to signs, we have to use the big M method or any other method. They are part of simplex method, of course. But we have another technique to solve particularly this type of problem where a single variable, only a single variable is with greater than or equal to sign in case of a minimization problem. As we all are aware that with the objective of minimization, the sign directly matching is less than or equal to. But here in this case, these two inequalities are with greater than or equal to sign. But the fact that with greater than or equal to sign, there is only one variable, single variable that is in our favor. We can use a simple mathematical technique and convert this problem into another problem and can solve very easily through the pure simplex method. What is the technique? Let us take x1 equals to 8. Well, whatever value is here, we have to take it here. Plus x such that x is a non-negative. And x2 equals to, again take this number or value, now what, now in the entire problem including the objective function and all the constraints, we have to substitute these two functions against x1 and x2. Now what is going to happen? Z will be like this. 6 into 8 plus x that is 48 sorry plus 20 into 10 plus y. That means it will be now 48 plus 6x plus 200 plus 20y. Ultimately our z function will be 6x plus 20y plus 248. Similarly, now what is going to happen? Let us take first constraint 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 32 it will be now 2 into 8 plus x plus 20 sorry 10 plus y less than or equal to 32 let us first simplify 16 plus 2x 16 plus 2x plus 10 plus y less than or equal to 32 that is 2x plus y, 2x plus y less than or equal to 32 minus 16 minus 10. Ultimately it will be 2x plus y less than or equal to 6. This will be now our first constraint. Similarly, in this case 3x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 80. Now let us substitute the factors 3 into 8 plus x plus 4 into 10 plus y less than or equal to 80. 
24 plus 3x plus 40 plus 4y less than or equal to 80. Therefore, it will be now 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 80 minus 24 minus 40. So ultimately it will be 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 80 minus 40, 40, 40 minus 24, 16. So ultimately it is now 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 16. Now what happens with this? See, x1 less than or equal to 8. Therefore, 8 plus x less than or equal to 8. Therefore, Sorry, it is not less than but it is greater than. That is the mistake by me. Yes. 8x greater than or equal to 8. Therefore, x greater than or equal to 8 minus 8 greater than or equal to 0. See, this is our non-negativity condition. Similarly, in case of y or rather x2, x2 is given to be greater than or equal to 10. Therefore, 10 plus y is greater than or equal to 10. Therefore, y greater than 10 minus 10. Therefore, y greater than 0. So now, our revised linear programming problem will be maximize z equals to 6s plus 20y plus 248 subject to 2x plus y less than or equal to 6, 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 16 and x and y both are 0 or greater that means both are non-negative. So in this way we can simplify a maximization problem which has in constraints single variable with greater than or equal to same. Now from the next lectures we are going to solve this problem by simplex method. Thank you very much.